Welcome to my store. Okay, so this is glass cutting on the table. He's not actually going to cut it, he's just going to show us how it would work. Okay, so he's programming it now. Okay, there it goes. See, if it was cutting it, it would actually be scoring the glass, but uh, this is the shape it would be cutting it if he was cutting 90 gallon tanks. That's way faster than doing a little glass cutter. Faster than I used to be. <laughs> oh. Well, people in these videos have seen me cutting glass, and then I get my pliers out and I kind of break off the little pieces that are too big. Because, uh, you know, I don't cut glass quite as good as you. <laughs> well, you know, you don't do it every day. Well, well, you might do it every day, but not all the day. Yeah, no, I don't do it every day. And mostly, if I'm cutting a piece of glass this thick, okay, I cut it and then I tap it. <laughs> you know? Use a hammer chisel sometimes. I want a piece here. See if I can split this. Okay, he's going to split this piece of glass in half. So his glass cutter. Okay, now see how straight that is? Oh, yeah. It started. Well, it started. Yeah. yeah, we can see that. You take your Canadian Tire glass cutter underneath, and then just go. See there? Just like two butter. pieces of glass. Yeah, we use that sort of glass for repairing tanks. Yep. Yeah. It's on the phone again. Always busy. Yep. This is what he does with his scraps. Oh, a stress free <laughs> environment. Alright, let's drill a hole. Okay. Now, people, they've seen me drill a hole. I try to hold the drill really, really steady. Well, Aaron thinks I always gonna cut myself. There's a couple times I don't. Okay. This is a test piece. So this drill runs from the bottom and from yeah. the top. Can't really show you like you can see it in there. Okay, there's the bottom cutter. Cutting from the top and the bottom, you end up, uh, you don't have to put a piece of wood underneath it. And you get a nice clean cut. Yeah. Because you're drilling from the both sides. And you set it up so it meets in the middle. Yeah. So the one goes a little bit further than the other one. Yeah. Ream them. Ah, okay. This is all, that's all diamond on that girl. That's all diamond? Yeah. It's about like a $900 piece. Oh, wow. It lasts forever. I've had it for five years already. So even though this is a wet? See, that puts a bit of a bevel on it. That is a beautiful hole now. Yeah. yeah. So how come that one doesn't have to have water on it? Um, it's, it's not cutting. I'm not cutting much. It's just like a sand. So it doesn't get hot enough. There you go. This makes it pretty. 
Makes it very pretty. And this thing here, this is the belt sander. Washer dryer, see. Okay, this is the glass washer. You just put the glass on the conveyor. And it sends it running through. A whole bunch of water in there. Is there brushes on the top and the bottom? Yeah. So there's brushes on the top and the bottom. Okay. So they're just rolling it along and they're washing it. Uh, Will that take old silicon off, or it's not quite that strong? It's not that strong. Not that strong. So it's mostly just to clean the glass of the dust and uh, yeah. any grime and fingerprints, stuff like that. And then it's uh, run through a heat thing. So this is all dry now. Yeah, it comes up pretty dry. You still should rub it with the chamois. Yeah. Rub it with the chamois. Just to make sure. Yeah, because there's just a little bit of water on there, but there's a heat unit in here that's uh, taking care of most of it. Because, you know, we're running it 100%, you know? Yeah. We push the machines to the limit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you perform miracles here. <laughs> Says so on the logo. Then they put it on pieces of styrofoam. Make sure the edge, wherever the silicone is going to go, you hit it with this. Yeah. And then we use a spray cleaner after. Okay. So you beveled this with those. Uh... So uh, that machine over there okay. is a It's really boring. Yeah. <laughs> well, come on. We did a video where we videotaped skids for seven minutes. <laughs> well, I gave the camera to Jay and I told him, videotape the stuff. He says, well, what do I do? I says, point it at the skids and shoot the stuff. I come back. He's pointing at the skids. I don't pay any attention. Aaron, he puts the video up, and then we look at it, and turns out he, uh, he videotaped absolutely nothing. <laughs> 7.06 minutes of nothing. But you can hear everything going on in the background. <laughs> Everybody's talking and doing Laughing, stuff. Yeah. But Jay, when you tell him to videotape the skids, I don't know why Carl wants me to videotape these skids. <laughs> for 7.06 minutes. So these belts over here, they're for taking the edge off the glass. Just normal tank, you know, you're not trying to polish it. It just takes the sharp off so that nobody cuts himself. See, back in my store, I go the high-tech method. I grab a rusty old file, and I kind of stroke it up and down. Okay. Yeah, use a piece of rock, piece of seashell, stuff like that. Okay, that's the end of this video.